Okay, dear friends, I'm back. Today I'll be looking at the machine of the legacy on the hack the box. I have already spun or put it up at、uh, this machine earlier. As you can see, this is the IP address of the target, and、uh, then I like to use the pawn box. Which is online payload OS provided by the Hex Box to do this penetration. So now we can switch over to the Hex Box, the viewer. So as you can see, I've already done the map scanning. The as as you can see, I use the option like a scene scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and also the comprehensive scan. So from the map scanning results, as you can see, the first thing we can know the target is Windows, and、uh, maybe Windows XP. So it's very old or legacy system. So why it's called legacy? <laughs> I think so. So there are three open ports on the target, like one hundred and thirty-five. And the next two is used by are used by Samba Surface. So what we are going to do next? Maybe as you can see, the because here I use the option of S and C, which means we want to make the default scripts game. And as you can see, the SM SMB two time. Like SMB security mode, but I think now we need to do more detailed vulnerability scanning with the Samba surface, so we can check which kind of script we can use. We can search, share a map and scripts. And we are just、uh, interested in SMB. Let's hit enter. Yeah, there are a lot of outputs, which is related to the Samba surface, SMB surface. And we can use the SMB VAM, but、uh, we are not sure at this point which vulnerability will be. So we can use the sudo and map. And the option is script equal SMB one vulnerable, and we can use the star to represent to represent all scripts, and then we can put the IP address of the target. Let's hit enter. And I'd like to, yeah. Already we have already retrieved the result from this scanning. As you can see, the the first one is MS ten sixty one, but、uh, failed. And next one MS seventeen one zero one zero one zero. The result is vulnerable. Yeah, remote code execution vulnerability in Microsoft SMB V1 servers. And、um, of course, you can go to the references for more details. So I think now we also the another vulnerability, which is this one. The result is also vulnerable. Of course, for us at this point, we need to test both vulnerabilities, and、uh, of course, we can use the Metasploit. You know, Metasploit is always the preferable way to exploit the vulnerability. We just wait for this 
made a sprite console to be loaded. Yeah, here we are. Then we can search. We can search the first one. The this one we can make a copy. I don't want to type in. A bit lazy. As you can see, we can select or use this one Etern Eternal Blue vulnerability, and we can use. And here, and then we can show options. Of course, we can configure like a local host to the Palo OS, the local port number, and also the remote hosts, and then we can run this exploit module. But I can tell you, we will not uh, make it work uh, for this module to save time. Of this video, we just um, select or go directly to the second vulnerability. So we can make a copy, and then we can search again. And we can use this module. And then we can show options. And then we can set the local host to which one? Make we can make a copy, not a copy. Open another tab. And uh, make a copy the IP address of the payload OS. Paste in here, and set the local port to five five five. And we need to set the remote host to. Triple ten dot four. So I think I already configured all required fields. We can show options again. Yeah, everything is configured, and we can run. It looks like this module is working. So I think now now we can. Background the session, as you can see, you can list the active sessions. The it's just one session, and we can get the plea. Yo, no, we need to sessions to one, and uh, we can uh, sessions. Oh no, not a session. We can get play. Not oh, sorry. We now we are inside the command shell. Now we have ready. I think we have ready got the the loot or administrator shell. We can dir. As you can see from the banner, we can go to the directory, the loot directory. And we can go to the documents. Dir. Administrator. Dir. So I think for this machine, we do not need to retrieve the loot flag. But anyway, from here you can know that we have already obtained a demonstrator or loot shell. So this machine is very very easy、uh, because we can use the metasploit for this exploitation, for this vulnerability. But、um, what I'm doing is just is to showcase the entire process when we de deal with such. Similar machine or box. Okay, so I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.